What's up YouTube? Crafting Cars here. Happy Friday. I hope you're all tuned into this video because I don't know what the hell you're gonna do instead. Now I'm pretty excited because as of this weekend I'm gonna have pretty much all the parts I need to build up the bottom end of that B16. But there is one thing I gotta do first and that's hone out my cylinder walls using this tool right here. Uh, the only issue I have is my motor's been sitting for a while so my cylinder walls are kind of coated in a thin layer of rust. Um, but I'm pretty confident we're gonna be able to get through that today and I'm gonna show you how. And for our small group of viewers out there that aren't too into cars and don't know what I mean when I'm talking about honing a cylinder, well, it's basically, um, I've got your typical run of the mill four cylinder engine. I've got four cylinders and four pistons that slide up and down in these cylinders. Now what can happen over time is the friction between the uh, piston and the cylinder wall can cause scratching, um, sometimes glazing. And if you let your motor sit for a while, uh, like in my case, it can cause rusting. And our main goal is to get rid of all those impurities and restore the cylinder walls to like a really nice fine crosshatch pattern. Now why crosshatch pattern? Because the oil really likes to stick to that. You're gonna need as much lube as possible when you're rubbing that bitch at 9,000 RPMs. But Afton, shouldn't I have a machine shop do that? No, actually, you don't need a machine shop to hone out your cylinders. This is something that anybody can do at home. So what I recommend is a ball hone like this slightly larger than your bore so I've got a 81 millimeter bore and I think this is like three and a quarter inches so it works out just fine um, this is 320 grit but you're gonna want something between like 320 400 to finish the job right uh, it even says on the box you're gonna need some thick motor oil or flex zone oil if you got that but just use motor oil you'll be fine um, you're gonna need a drill uh, preferably an electric drill they don't want you using like a pneumatic drill or anything rough like that or too high powered and uh, you're gonna need a little bit of hand-eye coordination. Might take a little bit of practice, but uh, there is definitely a technique that I'll show you when I get out there. And uh, yeah. Oh, you're gonna want soap and water. You see a lot of YouTube videos or a lot of forums talking about how they just use like WD-40 or some solvent to clean out the cylinder walls. Um, but Flexone recommends you use soap and water. So that's what I'm gonna do. So the motor I'm gonna be working on today is this B16. Um, as you can see, cylinder walls, very rusty, very worn out. It's not looking too good, but hopefully we can save this motor. Um, if you look, what's kind of special about these B16s and some other motors, is if you look in the bottom right hand corner there, there's a little snake looking thing pointing up at us. Uh, those are oil squirters. And I really don't want to destroy those when I hone these cylinders. So I'm gonna flip this guy over. And it looks like I could just take those out with a 10 millimeter socket and an extension. That's where they're hiding, right down there. So as long as you can get your socket on there, you're in business. All right, so we got all those little oil squirters out. It's kind of hard to actually reach down in those channels, so I'd recommend if you had like a long needle nose pliers that you use something like that. Couldn't find any laying around today, so just had to use my fingers to finish the job as usual. Classic. All right, let's get back to business. So we're gonna flip this guy back over. I'll start with the closest cylinder here. I'm gonna take my rag, a little bit of 1040 oil here. Get the rag nice and wet, nice and oily. And just lube up the cylinder. All right, looks nice and shiny. So chances are we're not gonna scratch the shit out of it. ball home, take my drill, put it as far back as you can, now you're going to want to pick a medium speed, that seems about good right there, and then they recommend 60 to 120 strokes uh, a minute is about the pace. Pick somewhere in between there as long as you're consistent. That's the key. Then you want to be spinning the drill as you put it in. And you want to keep it spinning even as you pull it out. So let's try it.
just looking at it, it already looks really good, honestly. I can't wait to show you guys. Uh, but first things first, you're gonna wanna grab some hot water, some hot soapy water, just to clean it out. Remember, don't use a solvent, use hot soapy water. Fuck the haters. Dry it off. All right, let me show you the difference so far. All right, so check this out. Here are the ones we haven't touched yet. Obviously still all rusty and corroded. But the one that we only spent 20 seconds on is already looking like this. It's a beautiful cross hatch, cleaned up super nicely. I probably only have to hit it for about five more seconds. There's a little bit of flash rust still showing. Uh, but I'm going to switch the camera into time-lapse mode, and then we're going to finish all four of them. So after a little bit more cleaning and honing, here's the final results. We got all four cylinders looking super fresh, really nice cross hatch going on. Now if you're going to leave it like this, um, the next step is just to coat every cylinder in oil, uh, maybe seal a bag around it or something like that, just to keep these from flash rusting again. Alright, so we got a fresh coat of oil on there, nice and slippery, nice and protected, and I think that's going to wrap up the project for today. Huh? Huh? So once again, thank you for tuning in to Crafting Cars. Uh, if you like what you saw today, you know, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll be sure to put some before and after uh, pictures at the end of the video. And hopefully you have enough confidence, if you saw the video, to go out and hone your own cylinders now. So we like that stuff here. We like uh, helping you guys out. And uh, we're well on our way to 100 subscribers. So we had our 69 subscriber special. Up next is going to be our 100 subscriber special. So can't wait till we get there. Uh, but for now, see you next Friday. Bye-bye.